Hey guys, WallerD, we're back for more Kirby Superstar Ultra, and yes, we are still on the route to try to complete this challenge in an hour. Good news is, is that I have finally decided to establish the rules. Rule number one, if I'm in this room, time stops for the challenge, so I can do whatever the hell I want in here, take all the time I need, but as soon as I leave this room, the time starts, so... It's going to be a little bit tough, honestly, because it means I'm going to have to beat the bosses really fast, going to have to find all the treasures really fast, and most importantly, uh, yeah, damn, what the hell did I do? And of course, if I don't complete this challenge, I have a very cruel and unusual punishment for myself, so... Let's get on to the road. Three, two, one, go. God damn it. No! Eat you. Now, one thing you really want to do is this guy. That guy is in the way of everything. You're also in the way, excuse me. Because you want to get through this little underwater creek. Did I say underwater? I meant underground creek. Excuse me. Dude, get out of my way. And you want to make sure you have a either hit that block or use beam, which I would suggest. And wow, Phantom Mass, uh, Mari's gonna be a little pissed off that you're borrowing this Kirby, especially jamming in freaking uh, treasure chest underground. See you later. Yeah, if you want to make that fight quick, just do that, because you really don't have any reason to fight that guy, especially if you're under some strict conditions like I am right now. Excuse me. There we go. If you needed any help with that chest, I'm sorry. It's really easy. Aim correctly. And that's what I meant about aiming correctly. Oh, come on! I'm trying to get through this. You know what? Help me out here, Waddle Doo. Help me out here big time. Ow. Oh. Wow, that sucks. Well, this may not be a bad thing. Ow, that is, though. And what we got here? Beast Vein? That... I don't know what that's referencing, but cool. It's written. It's, it's not, like, just junk. Ow, 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 ow. Thank you all do. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that deaths will be happening in this. And honestly, I'm praying to God that it's not too much death. Thank you. Oh, piece of sh- mm. Man, these enemies are being very threatening today. You definitely want to get this obviously easy chest to get. And yes, there are attacks running around this area, so do be careful when you're, uh, flying and floating around, because you could very well be a victim of attack. Or your ally will be a victim of attack. One of the two. Season's hearts. That used to be like springtime game. What the hell are you doing? You screwing with me here? Excuse me. Nice thing about this next room is I get a freaking max tomato, which refills my health completely, and I can then take on the boss. And this is a pretty annoying boss. Fatty Whale pisses me off every day. Especially when he does a move that takes so much time where I can't just do this repeatedly. Good job, partner. Oh god. Well, partner's probably gonna die shortly. That was dumb. So yeah, this guy can be a little bit... Did I just lose my ability? Did I just lose... Come here! I'm here! Oh shit, the big attack. Man, this guy is really causing me a little pain and grief here. Shit, this ain't good. Wow, I got probably the worst partner and the worst ability for this fight. Fireball meets Dom. You gotta be kidding me here, game! 
Okay, that was the weirdest kill ever. I apparently got hit, spat out my star, and killed him with it. Whatever. Oh man, does this count? No, it doesn't. Get the Okay, no, no. Okay, uh... New rule. These segments do not count. Because... Literally... There's not much I can do but ride the cart. Alright. Crystal. I like th I like that they actually, you know, give these things names, or these areas. This chest should not be skipped. Then again, it wouldn't kill you to skip it. Because honestly, there is no reason for you to really collect it other than completion. This, on the other hand, is much better. Apparently, uh... Cinderella got really pissed off at life and threw her shoe in a cave and it ended up underwater. Interesting. Oh, thank god, a save point. Yes, I would like to save my progress now. Okay, so that took about five minutes. I think I have a chance. Now, the thing that's different about this next area coming up is that instead of having just a straight shot from start to finish, you have a hub-like area where you have three doors, one of them will lead to the next area, and the rest will just lead you through a treasure chest that you have to either figure out or find in, in that particular spot, which is kind of nice to be honest because, for instance, it adds some uh, variety to the whole treasure hunt thing. This could basically have been the same way start to finish where it's like oh you just have the straight shot through each area no this definitely is a pleasurable change the whole ride honestly but uh yeah this is where things start to get a little confusing and you might possibly skip a few treasure chests so be on your best behavior while you're going through these spots crap 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 excuse me gonna need you Oh yeah, easy chest. If you even need, if you ever need any help for that one, please save yourself. All right, and what you want to do after you hit that switch is you want to hit this guy. No, fuck. You know what? I'm falling it. Dead. Yeah, that chest is a little annoying to get because if you miss it. You miss it, and that means you have to exit the entire room, and basically get it again. Alright, so let's do it this way. That's how you get it. Wow, did I just wasted my life for a saucepan? Game, you troll me. Alright, come over here, spawn you again, because I need you for a switch. Yeah! This is one way to do it. The other way would be the other going around and pretty much entering this area on the other side, which I don't think is very easy to do. Okay, that's nice. This is gonna help me out a little bit. Good job, partner. Way to stop that frickin' uh, crash bomb from blowing up the sky, you know? Gonna need you for a number of reasons. Because we got a mini boss in this room, and I do not want to deal with it. The power of Kirby. I just love how that thing just, like, totally obliterated that guy. <laughs> he did not even know what hit him. So that's one way to make that quick, and I just created a shortcut. Unfortunately, this shortcut means that I've wasted a little bit of time now. Shit. Excuse me. Oh, do not put No. No, stop it! Stop, game! Oh, wow, two treasure chests? Awesome. So, yeah, that room is a nice little hurricane of annoyance, and, of course, apparently I found two fossils. I'm imagining they're referencing, uh, maybe Pokemon? I mean, why else would we be finding fossils in the same exact spot? Oh, shit. Um... Excuse me, we are not going that way. In fact, we'll just take the short... No, I have to go that way. Fuck. No. 
bastard. Okay, we can do this. We already got like 22 chests. That's one third right there. Why do I have to kill you again? Dead. Come on, buddy. You might want to throw that bomb. So yeah, this is pretty much how the areas go. You pretty much go in one door, that's wrong door. Do all you need to do and then leave. Can't get that guy yet because stupid underwater currents. This area is definitely a little bit less complicated and more straightforward, but you could skip stuff. Wow, that guy was hardy as hell. Some of the if anything, you should not really skip much here. I mean, it's pretty much a matter of looking in every nook and cranny. Like, this one's obvious. Problem is, you have to fight the currents again. Bucket. That is from Wario vs. Mario, I think. Or vice versa, one of the two. And that's basically where Mario gets a bucket stuffed on his head and Wario's laughing his ass off. Here, you might need this. And it's kind of a game that I wish got released outside of Japan. That would have been kind of interesting. I mean, Wario's been all about, like, did I really waste all this time for fucking Max Tomato? No, you are not, sh I'm not sharing with you. You need to start dodging spikes more. Okay, I need to start listening to my own advice. Okay, I really need to start listening to my own advice. And what we got here? Power paintbrush. Why am I feeling this is a Kirby reference? And I'm imagining my partner's dead now. Well, good bye, partner. I don't have the life to give you here. Uh, he died. Well, that's a damn shame. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure to hold right, right around here. Because if you screw this up, good luck going through this section again. Because that's there's no other way to get that other than the section. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Try to live here. Son of a. Okay. I'm not going to suffer the fate of my once renowned partner, Poppy Brother Jr. Oh, I'm glad you didn't kill me. Alright, good. I have a feeling I might be missing something. I'm praying. God damn it. Ugh. Dude. Oh. No! Out of my way! Wow, that was an easy treasure chest. Yes! Falcon! Oh yeah! Yes! That was worth getting. That was definitely worth getting. Now, getting out of here without dying is another question altogether. No, no. You stay away, Tack. I don't want you to rob my power and my life here. I know it's really tempting. And God, that food looks good down there, but... Out my way. Pancakes, flan, some other shit. What is this? Cell phone, really? This is from the Amazing Mirror. <laughs> you son of a... Come here! Oh, what? Give me that. Steal my hat. That's rude. Excuse me. Yeah, this area can be a little bit of an annoyance because you have to kind of definitely look every which way, but it's, again, a pretty straight shot. Especially in this part right here is really fucking annoying, because guess what? You have to fight the wind again, and there is no other way around. At least I hope that's the case, because if there is, I'm gonna be a little upset. Nope, there isn't. Truth Mirror. I think I found everything that I need here. And just in case if you don't have an idea of what you have, uh, here's pretty much the list. Also, pausing is a way to stop time for this challenge. Okay, three, two, one. Looks like I have everything, thank god. Come on, Kirby, let's run! Uh, fighter. Fighter's really strong for this part. Okay, so if you're wondering what this next fight is, it's very fitting. It's an RPG battle! What the hell? Slime appears. Oh man, that sucks. 
And these guys can be very easy. This one in particular is a joke. This guy is pretty much like every slime in any RPG ever made. Uh oh, first attack I've ever blocked. This is pretty much the only time where guarding is actually a good idea. At least in the original. Uh, I would love to have a better ability. You start laughing, well I'm laughing at your dead body. Yeah, these fight this fight isn't really hard. It's just a mat Oh you piece of shit get fuck! Ah, oh, I missed out on the hammer that could have sealed this fight. Oh, come on, Mul yeah, I really wanted to have that hammer because hammer is easily one of the best abilities for this fight. Stone is a close second, maybe. Oh, can you? No, game, 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 game. No, this is not. This is not kosher game. I'm not. So, yeah, the game does a nice little joke where it's like, Hey, look at all these abilities you got! Look how much better you are, Kirby! Here's the problem. Kirby doesn't have any stats. Oh, come on! Move faster! Oh, wait, maybe I've been putting on the brakes all this time. Okay, so, uh, new advice for you guys. Don't freaking press Y repeatedly. Otherwise, you will have the slowest cart ride ever. Oh, damn it. Damn it. There's reasons why I'm saying, damn it. I hate the old tower. So very much. So next time, we are going to Dibby Dabby in one of the most wretched areas in this entire sub-game. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios. Mar Kirby, get your ass to bed. Adios, guys.